we're going to look at the game Frogs Visit Flowers. There are two versions of the game. The first involves addition, and that you'll play in the earlier modules, and the second involves subtraction, which you'll play once we're really looking at subtraction properly. The game is a simple one. It's played in pairs. The first player sets a start point and an end point for the other player, who's the little frog. So, they might, for example, set a start point of 8, so the little frog must start at 8, and an end point of 13, so the little frog needs to end up at 13. The other player, who is the little frog, now needs to figure out what jump that little frog must take to get from 8 through to 13. And the way they're going to do this is as follows. They obviously could count and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but we're really wanting to discourage counting because we want our learners to get faster at being able to do addition and subtraction. So we tell the learners the following story. The little frog is still a baby and so likes to make jumps to the special flower, flower number 10, so that it can rest on the way. So, if the little frog started at 8 and needed to jump to 10, that should be easy. It's a jump of 2. And then, from 10 to 13 is a jump of 3. So, in total, the little frog has jumped 2 and 3. So, the little frog has jumped 5. And they can write the answer in there. The way the game works at this point is if the player has got that correct, then they get a chance to roll the dice. They write down the number that comes up on the dice on a piece of paper. That's their score. And then they set a start point and an end point for their partner, and it's repeated. And you do that five times. Each time they get it correct, they write down a score, and then they add up their score after five turns, and the person with the highest score wins. The main point is to get the learners better and better at making jumps instead of counting in ones. So for example, if the start point was set at 4 and the end point as 12, what we want the learners to see is that you do your jump to 10. And from 4 to 10, the learner should be able to make this connection that it is 6, because they've been practicing their bonds to 10. 4 and 6 gets you to 10. And then from 10 to 12, again, this should be a fact that they're very familiar with, is just adding on 2. And so in total, what has been added on is 8. The subtraction version of the game is very similar, except the start point is above 10 and the end point now is below 10. And you write it in on the subtraction sentence. So the frog starts at 13 and needs to end at 6 and you want to know how many steps back does it need to go. Again, the frog's going to make its first jump to 10 and that's an easy take away 3. And then its second jump is going to be from 10 down to 6. And we know that 6 and 4 make 10, so it's a jump of 4. So a jump of 4 and a jump of 3 backwards means that a jump of 7 backwards has happened. Again, the learners will each spend time giving each other a start point and an end point. Each time the learner gets it correct, they'll get to throw a dice to give themselves a score and at the end of five turns, they'll add up their scores to see who's the winner.